they see your vulnerability and, and twist it in a way that twist it in a way that you don't always expect. Jen Ortega getting emotional over fame and social media. Yeah. It's just like a it's so so strange. Sorry, yeah. I don't mean to do this. I don't no, it's I didn't okay. even feel like I was gonna do this, but it is yeah. like it's like such a hard thing to balance because it's how do you be honest without um, jeopardizing your own health and, and, and safety. So it's, it's been a bit of an adjustment. The Wednesday Actress opens up about those adjustments while talking with Elle Fanning for Variety's Actors on Actors. The more uh, I guess I've, I've been exposed to the world in a sense, I, people prey on that and mm -hmm. take advantage of that and, and they see your vulnerability and, and twist it in a way that, twist it in a way that you don't always expect. It's very easy to feel like almost out of control of things, mm -hmm. which is why it's so important, I think, for people to get off the phone. I don't have a phone. I refuse to be a slave to technology. Looks like Jen is taking a page from her role as Wednesday Adams. I find social media to be a soul-sucking void of meaningless affirmation. Speaking of the hit Netflix series, during her chat, Jen is spilled on what fans can expect for season two. I think that we're kind of ditching any romantic love interest for ah, okay. Wednesday, which is really great. I'm not interested in participating in tribal adolescent cliches. Yup, after her character got tangled in a love triangle with Tyler and Xavier, Jen is looking to focus on other storylines. We've had a lot of conversations and I think we've decided things that we definitely um, want to enhance or mm -hmm. dive a little bit deeper in. I think we want to lean into the horror aspect of the show a little bit mm -hmm. more because it is mm -hmm. so lighthearted and I think a show like this, um, you know, with vampires and werewolves and yeah. superpowers, you just, you don't want to take yourself too seriously. Which echoes what she told E.T. last year. What do you hope to explore in a possible second season? I kind of want her to be darker. Mm, yeah. Okay. I want her to get more in the nitty gritty of things and not play things so safe because there's a lot of lines this one about her ah, saving the school and doing whatever. I think I wanted to... I want to continue down an anti-hero stream rather than typical hero, if you know what I mean. She also teases resurrecting a character from the dead. Yeah, oh my me. god, I would die to work with Gwendolyn Christie I, for the rest of my life. I know. She's I'm, perfect. So I'm doing everything in my power to throw out yeah. the most insane plots that would possibly bring this woman back from the dead. Yes. I'm trying. No premiere date has been announced yet for season two, so while fans wait to scream it, I mean stream it, it wouldn't be pure torture. To prep by rewatching season one. You guys are making me nauseous. Not in a good way.